Hello, welcome back. In last session, we discussed about the sensors and actuator. In this session, we are going to discuss about the components, how they work together and how they communicate with each other. Sensor which is input device and sends signals to the controller. A controller could be a raspberry Pi or an Arduino board and according to the programming control board works on the input signals and send commands to the actuator actuator works as the output device according to command it operates the equipment actuator could be in the form of the motor or relays or any rotary switch Now let's have a look at car and an automatic driverless car. In the normal car, a human being eyes works as the sensor and the brain works as the computer. Let's look at the how a self-driving car works. Different type of sensors need to be used in a self-driving car for example GPS global positioning system which transmits the signal to the satellites and for the accurate position of the car also gyroscopes and the altimeters can be used LIDAR light detection and ranging sensor bones pulse of lights of the surrounding these are analyzed to identify the marking and the edges of road the video camera can also be used to detect the traffic lights read road signs keep track of the position the dog monitors the position of the other vehicles nearby ultrasonic sensors which measures the position of objects which are very closely to the vehicle like curbs and other vehicles when parking different type of network and get gateways devices and smartphone sensor actuators and the microcontrollers need a medium to transmit the signals and to receive the commands so we are using a network system to connect them together with each other our next topic will be regarding to networking in iot